What's happening, Expeditioners? It's Pete here, founder of Expedition Money. One of the things that I like to do, and I don't do it as much as I used to, but that is camping. So I grew up in a camping family. Actually, my parents went and did part of Mount Everest on their honeymoon, which is kind of crazy. But I grew up in a Boy Scouting family as well. So we did camping every month, you know, whether it was cabin camping or tent camping and sometimes survival weekends. So I really enjoyed it. It's part of the experience that I grew up with. I want to get my son into that too. And the nice thing about it is it's very cheap. And that's really one of the reasons that my family did it a lot when we were children, because my aunts and uncles and my cousins, they didn't have a lot of money, but it was a way for the family to get together without necessarily having anyone spend money that they didn't have. Now, there are a number of issues of camping these days. The equipment itself can get very expensive. But one of the other main issues is that I feel like camping isn't necessarily as popular or as in vogue as it used to be. And so I don't see a lot of the campsites that I used to. A lot of them have been sold and developed. Some of the campsites just didn't make money, and so they were sold, and they were put up tiny houses or were turned into hunting land. So there just, I don't think, are as many of them as there once were. On top of that, some of the campsites are getting pretty expensive because they are trying to add some amenities that people really want, like showers and indoor plumbing and a general store and playgrounds and boat launches. So it can actually be as expensive as getting a cheap motel or something along those lines. And so one of the things that I found that I think will help you maybe enjoy camping, do a little more camping, get out there, see the great wilderness again, are finding free campsites at freecampsites.net. So this website is great because it will show you places all over the country where you can get a campsite for free. And if you have some of the equipment, you know, a tent or a camper or a pop-up tent on the roof of your car or whatever it might be, or maybe you just want to sleep under the stars. The other thing that is really popular that I haven't done is just hammock camping. Take your own hammock, string it between two trees. If you're with some other people, they can bring their own hammock. But now you're not even setting up a full tent. You don't have to worry about rolling over on top of someone else. But this will get you into some places that are a little off the beaten path. Some places that might be really scenic, some places that might be peaceful. They can be very close to you. In fact, I've started to note some that I want to hit up here pretty soon. So when the weather gets a little bit cooler, I'm going to try to hit up some of these free campsites in the fall. Some of these are not going to have huge amenities, but if they do have a fire pit or something like that, where you can have that nice campfire, you just want to do one night there, an overnighter so that you can get home and use your bathroom and your shower and all those types of things the next day. Well, you can certainly do that, but give yourself a little taste of that camping experience without paying out a lot or sometimes any money. Hey, if you want to check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description. Hope that helps. I'll see you later. 